everybody, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and I'm so excited to be doing this again this month. Um, I did the, uh, unboxings for the first time last month and showed them during reveal, and I had so many of you um, leave such nice positive comments about me doing the unboxings and requesting that I please do it again. So I'm gonna try and make this a regular thing. Um, Aside from any unforeseen incidents, then I will try and do this every month because I enjoy talking about the product and kind of giving you some background on uh, where some of the ideas came from and ideas on how to use some of the product. So um, yeah, so let's dig in. I'm going to break all of these down so each unboxing will be separate uh, so you can pick and choose which ones you want to uh, watch. This is the main planner kit, and you can get this with or without insert. I will go through all of the inserts after I show you what's in uh, the main planner kit here. Uh, so if you if you don't care to see either one, you can either fast forward or stop, whichever you want to do. So I just wanted to let you know that all the inserts, I'll go through those after I go through all of the goodies that are in this bag. So this is the main planner kit. You can order this kit with or without an insert. So you can get it just like this, or you can get it just like this with an insert. Uh, so either way we offer it, and we have a ton of different size inserts that you can choose from. So there's a lot of options. So let's dig in here, and I will show you and talk to you about what's included in this kit. So the collection this month is called Wisteria Lane. And a no, it wasn't necessarily chosen from the old Desperate Housewives TV show. Uh, we went with the Wisteria artwork. I know, uh, as a lot of you know, I'm not a huge fan of purple, but I know a lot of you love purple. So I wanted to create a kit this summer that had um, some bright, beautiful uh, purples in it, some periwinkles, and I wanted to do a floral and we've done lilacs in the past and so I went with the wisteria because I thought that would be a really fun flower. It has this beautiful drapey effect which works really well with um, with the Cocoa Daisy look which is the watercolors and um, we threw in just to kind of keep the palette from being overwhelming purple and blue and periwinkle we threw in a little bit of, of the green of the leaves. We threw in some fun lemons just to kind of uh, break up those colors and add a punch of that summer brightness. And then just a little smidge of coral because wisterias do come in other colors aside from purples and blues. So I'm gonna show you first off, we have this adorable rubber clip of a wisteria, isn't that cute? I'm always astonished at the detail that we can get in these and then in our embroidery clips. And that is the little rubber clip. And then we have a pen, and yes, it's a purple pen. <laughs> For all of these, all of those of you that love purple. So it's a really, it's a really pretty kind of a, a soft purple, and then it's got a little bit of a brighter purple gem in it. And of course it has the daisy on top, and then our logo on the side. And and the washi tape. Now the washi tape, I'm I'm I don't want to unpackage this one, so I'm gonna use one of mine to show you. It's a beautiful floral. And it has, it has the wisteria on there. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, if you open it up, then you'll see a little bit of the lemon and then more of those blues. And we added a little bit of a corn flower, not cone flower, but a blue corn flower in the mix just to kind of um, add some more floral in there. So that is the washi tape. And then I'll get to the die cuts in a minute. This is the a little sticky note pad so how cute is that I love this size we do this size often because it works so well if in if you do any sort of memory planning um, or you use a happy planner or any of those kinds of gridded squared 
vertical planners. It works really well. It works great in um, the Dory booklets. It's just it's just a great size of a sticky notepad. It doesn't overwhelm the page. I don't like ones that are too big. So that's just the nice little one. It says mini to-do list. So that's the little sticky notepad. And then there's, you can see there's a bunch of them on there. And then the die cuts. I'm going to go through the die cuts real quick. And remember, 99% um, of our die cuts are, and I'll mention if they're not. So if you don't hear me say that they're not stickers, assume that they are stickers. So these are all a cardstock weight, which means they're heavier, and they have a backing on them. So if you just go like that, you can peel the backing off and they're stickers. So super easy to use these. You do not have to glue them. So there's some, I'm gonna put this right here and we'll kind of go through them. So there's some beautiful florals, a couple of fun little arrows, and then one of the tabs. And then we had some fun little frames that we included. And that the artwork is so pretty. A bunch of the, there's the cone flower, corn flower, sorry. <laughs> the green, that pretty yellow. And then all the little wisteria petals. We have a bunch of the beautiful florals in here and a little lavender. Oh, that's the other floral that we've added in there. I forgot to mention that. You'll see little snippets of lavender mixed in as well. So there's always six tabs and then the fun little lemons. These would be really cute as little headers on a page or little reminders on a calendar. A couple more little arrows, little lemon weekend and summertime and again another beautiful frame Isn't that pretty and then another of the floral and again these are all stickers I'm gonna set those aside and then oh we have some fun new stuff so the pen comes with a gel ink and for two reasons we give you the extra refills because the pen the refill cartridge can only go up to here because we have the gems in the middle it's a smaller refill and because it's gel ink it gets used up faster so that's why we always include a couple of refills with it because we know you're going to need that ink so we did some pretty little teardrop and these are the little vellum little markers um, you can use these for checklists but they're vellum and they're the, just the little teardrop. So those are those are something new we haven't done. This is also something new. And this was born of, if you've watched any of my older videos or, or on my Instagram once in a while, I will share with you how I make a, a test page for my inks when I do my stamping. Because I do a lot of stamping in my planner, I like to know what colors to use. And I, I don't want to have to, every time I'm going to use them, dig through my stash and try and match them. So I usually will stamp them and write out what they are. And I can and I would just do that on a scrap piece of paper. And I thought, you know, it would be nice to have a page to tuck in my planner that has that information on it. Um, I've also started using a lot more colored highlighters. And so I wanted to do the pen test sheet on the one side to keep track of my highlighter colors as well. So this little card, and we're gonna try and have this in um, every month. So on one side, you can, even if you wanna test uh, the thickness of your pen or how it writes, I know when I do my journaling, I always end up doing that as well, trying to figure out, well, do I you know, wanna use a thick line, a thin line? So you can do that on this side, and then you can do ink or markers on this side, or you can actually do markers on the pen side too. So that's something new. And then our notepad, this is daily to do AM, PM. So that's our standard notepad. And then something brand new. And I did a short video that I went into detail about the changes in our stickers that are in our main planner kit. So you can go on our YouTube channel and you can watch that. I don't wanna take the time in the unboxing to go through all of the detail of that. I'll just kind of skim over it. 
Um, but there's um, a lot of information in that video if you want to watch it. What I basically did is we had three sticker sheets in our uh, previous main planner kits. We had um, a sheet that had icons and it had the tabs and it had the ring reinforcers and a few other things. We had a, and then we had a sheet that had the tab stickers because these stickers are designed to fit on our tabs as like um, dividers and so on. And then we had another that had the day and date. So what we did, we condensed some things. Um, we got rid of a few things. The majority of it we kept or we condensed. So we still have the ring reinforcers. We still have the tab stickers. We went down to our, um, the, the tab label stickers. We went down to one tab sticker. We still have a bunch of the little labels or little headers and we still have the, you know, we'll throw in a few of the, uh, the fun little dates like there's July 4th and then there's ice cream day and that's still along the bottom where we list that out. Our icons, we made a lot smaller. That was a big um, feedback we heard from everybody that you wanted smaller icons. We were able to add the little running shoes. We still have the uh, monthly header and then they, we included the day and the days and the dates from the day and date sheet. So that was all kind of condensed onto one larger sticker sheet. And then we included another sticker sheet. And this has the alphas, it has more dates, and then it has these fun boxes. So you're getting these two sheets. And in this sticker kit, you get another sheet of strictly decorative stickers. So there's no quotes, there's no sayings on here. It's just strictly uh, just for fun for decorating. So it, it, it's a nice complement to the utilitarian or the functional stickers that are on these two sheets. So you have the, the, decorate, the decorative ones as well. And that sticker kit is now included in every main planner kit. And then the beautiful papers. There's one. Pretty kind of crosshatch. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? And then this fun kind of dotted rainbow. And then this is my favorite paper. I love this one. I think that is so pretty. So those are, you get all three of those. You get those three sheets of paper. And then you get this fun purpley gingham pouch. Isn't it pretty? And of course, I threw in the, the little bit of a uh, little bit of coral in there. <laughs> it has that kind of a dark plum tassel. Now, what I wanted to show you about this. So these are a little bigger. So if you look at this pouch from March, you can see it's wider and it's a little bit get it up to the top. It's a little bit longer or deeper. And the reason we did that, we had to keep it the size enough to fit in the boxes. So that's the big thing we had to, we always have to look out for um, packaging. But what it will do is you can now fit this size. Actually, let me grab any of our sticker kits. And you'll notice this is the same size as the new sticker kit that's in the main planner kit will now fit in here. So now you can fit your larger stickers in the pouch like that. So now you can put all of that in there and you don't have to worry about where am I going to put, I can put some of my stuff in there, but not all of it. We've made it just enough, a bigger, just enough so that you can fit those larger stickers in there. So that is a little something extra that we did. And that is a change that um, we will continue going forward as well. So these are all of the pretty things that are in the main planner kit. So I'm gonna put all that here and then I'm gonna show you. So that's all of the stuff, whether you get the main planner kit with or without an insert, you get all of this stuff, okay? Then I'm gonna go through the inserts in a minute. So we have three different sizes of ringed inserts. So these are the ones that will have your daily pages in them, and we have three different sizes. So I'm gonna go through these real quick. 
This is the personal size. You can get the personal size six hole punch or without any punches at all. So you can do either or. And I'm just gonna page through here real quick. So you've got um, the back of the tab and it has a little calendar. You have the beautiful stripe pages and that's the back of the stripe pages. And you have enough of each for a whole month. And then there is your uh, week on two pages. And again, you have enough for the, the whole month. And then you get to the calendar page. So there's the notes page and then the beautiful calendar page. And then the back of the calendar. So you have your forward planning that you can write on here and then your daily pages. Isn't that pretty? With the little lemons hanging down. I think that's just gorgeous. And then there's all of your daily pages. And again, there's enough there for the whole month. So that is the personal size. And then we go to the B6. This is a B6 rings. And again, you can get this six hole or you can get it zero hole or unpunched. And it's the same setup. So you have the back of the tab, you have the stripe. I can move that over a little bit. You can try and see the whole thing. And then you have the week on two pages. And then you get to the calendar. So you have that pretty lavender in there. Lavender flower and lavender color. And then there's the calendar. And I'm gonna actually lift that up so you can kind of see it because the frame, you can't see it all, it's a little bigger than the personal size. And then your forward planning and then the daily. And the fun thing that we've added to the daily pages is this, um, it looks like a little sticky note is stuck on there and it, it looks real, doesn't it? But that's an illusion. So that's the daily pages of the B6, the B6 rings. This is the A5 rings. You can get the A5 rings in a six hole, a seven hole, or unpunched. So you have that option with um, the A5. So I'm gonna just kind of flip these here because this is too big for me to try and get both pages. So there is the stripe page, which is always a favorite. The back of the stripe page, and then the week on two pages show that to you a little bit. That's the week on two pages. And then this is the back of the other one. So you see how those go together with the cornflower. Isn't that pretty? And then the calendar. Let me get to that. So there's the notes page and then the beautiful calendar. And of course it goes together. And then the forward planning page and then the daily to-dos. So, and I use the A5, A5 is, I've never used anything but A5, to be honest. I've always had planner piece, isn't that nice? So that is the A5 insert, and then, something that we've only had for a few months, our classic vertical inserts. And these are meant to go in our Daisy Planner, um, an Erin Condren or a Happy Planner. So you would have to you would have to punch these. They come unpunched. That's the only way that we supply them. So you have to punch them to have them fit in your planner. But you get the you get the cover page or the divider page, and then you get a couple of blank pages. You can do whatever you want with. And then the beautiful calendar. So you can see that. And then you have your planning pages, and that's these, and they're, they are a vertical layout. And there's enough in there for the whole month. And then we also include that beautiful stripe page. Oh, there's a notes page on the back. Let me show you that, because it's got that pros pretty lemons. So what this is, and there's actually a perforation here. So if you can see that, there's a perforation there that you can, um, so if you want, the way that it's designed, this 
side is a little bit more narrow than the striped side. So what that means is you can punch here and put it in your binding and you can either have it this way or you can have it this way. It doesn't matter. However, however you want to lay this out is how you can insert it. You can leave it open if you want as well. But the nice thing is, is this list then is detachable. So you have the option to have a list on this side or on this side. And because it's perforated, you can just tear it right out. And there's enough in there for a whole week as well. So that is the classic vertical insert. All right, now we're gonna to go to the booklets and we have a bunch of these. Like I said, we have so many different options as far as insert size that you can choose to go with the main planner kit or you can, you can purchase these inserts just on their own as well. So I'm gonna start with, this is the A5. So this is the A5 Dory booklet and I'm just gonna kind of flip through this real quick I'm not gonna sit and page through all of these, but it gives you an idea of the artwork and the scale and all of the beautiful colors. And again, this is the A5, isn't that pretty? So it's not just purple. There are some beautiful other colors mixed in there, isn't that pretty? Go through. Some pages have a little more, some have a little less. So you can totally customize this as to how you want to use it for your planning, journaling, whatever you want to use these booklets for. So you can see, isn't that pretty? And then there's the back. And so again, that is the A5. We're going to go A5 to B6. So this is the B6 booklet. And again, it has the calendar on the front. And it has, there's the back page. And it has the same artwork throughout. It's just scaled down to fit the B6 size. So that's the B6, and that kind of gives you an idea. So A5, B6. And if you go on the website, there's a list of all of the different dimensions for all of these. This is the A6, so you can see that falls in the size. So this is the A6. And again, this one has a calendar, just a little smaller. Same artwork on the back. And again, the same artwork throughout, just scaled down to fit. And then we have the mini. So that's the A6, that's the mini. So you can see how much more small, smaller that is. The mini is too many for a calendar. So we have we have the um, just the striped page on the front. And then we have, instead of three sections, there's only two. So again, we scaled it down, but we didn't want to make the artwork too small. And then the back. So that's the little mini. And then, so this is something that a lot of people have a question about. So I saved this for last so that I can show you the difference. So we have a standard Dory booklet, which is just like the ones that I showed you in the way that it's laid out. So it has the calendar on the front, it has the same image on the back, and then it has the, um, the divided sections and some lined sections, and then there's a few open ones. So this again is the same sort of style layout as the other Dory booklets. This is the standard, it has the embossing on the front, and this is called the standard Dory. This is kind of, um, your you, any of your other like traveler's notebooks, or anything, this is the standard size. So this is that sort of sizing, um, it goes along with that, but it, this is what we call a standard Dory booklet. And this is used more for planning or journaling, okay? Now, the simple dory is the same size as the standard dory. You can get this as an insert with the main planner kit, or you can purchase it separately. But it is also the booklet that's included in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit because most people use this style of booklet for memory keeping. 
So it has this front, and one of the um, neat things about this, if you wanted to, you can take the, the pattern runs around. So if you wanna take the craft off and just use this as the cover, you can. But you'll notice it's set up more for memory planning or memory keeping. It has a full pattern on one page and then a grid or a dot grid or lines on the other page. So this is the Simple Dory. So again, this is more for memory keeping or like a traveler's notebook is, is the type of thing that you would use this for. And this is part of the Travelers, one of these is included in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. But if you don't get that, you can opt to use to select this with the main planner kit. So I hope that that kind of clears up the difference between the two. And you can see the patterns and so on there in that. This is the simple dory, this is the standard dory, same size, different innards. <laughs> So those are all of the inserts that are part of our collection this month. And again, the main planner kit you can get with or without an insert. So I'm gonna be moving on and showing you some more. I hope you enjoyed that.